Our KIS Fiji Spring Break excursion was a rich encounter with a foreign place. We spent some time at the beach, playing in the surf, making sand sculptures, and treating our nature deficit disorder with full doses of ocean spray and sunshine. Our service learning experiences involved gaining an understanding of the unique habitats of Fiji on both land and sea. The mangrove swamps contain various fascinating creatures that our group studied as we helped to plant mangrove seedlings in areas where the trees had been cut for firewood. We extended our exploration to a study of the reefs of Fiji with a snorkeling and fish counting exercise. Fiji is home to the third largest reef system in the world. There are over 1,000 reefs covering an estimated 10,000 square kilometers throughout the islands. The coral on the reefs is ground by reef-dwelling fish who excrete pieces of the reef after they have digested the nutrients. We joked about how the sand is actually just fish poop. We went from reef to ridge as we learned how the events on land can impact our marine systems. We visited Sigatoka Sand Dunes, where we enjoyed a two hour long hike. Sigatoka Sand Dunes is essentially a national park that offers the chance to take in some glorious coastal views while standing atop enormous dunes. We rolled down the sides and played games before hiking back through a dense tropical forest. Every night, our group would get to enjoy a variety of Fijian traditional dances and shows. We were invited to participate, sing along, laugh and dance alongside our Fijian hosts, and we felt like members of the family. During the days that followed, we worked on a number of service projects. We worked on a construction project and helped with a meal delivery program to provide hot, nutritious meals to several families, children, and elderly Fijians struggling to make ends meet. We learned how to prepare delicious Fijian and Indian dishes under the guidance of the local Rustic Pathway staff and their families. We cooked the meals in the homes of our neighbors in the local way over an open fire with huge pots and lots of stories and laughter. Once the dishes were ready, the students packed them into containers and hopped in the vehicles to deliver them personally to residents of one of the many communities around Momi Bay. One of my favorite activities was going to the mud baths where we reconnected with the earth, literally. We rubbed mud all over ourselves and let it dry and flake off in the tropical sun. On our last day, as tropical storms descended, we concluded our trip with a visit to a water park. 